Today, I'm taking you on an exclusive tour of my bag. From my one link irons to my brand new driver that I shot 58 with, we are going to be exploring every club that I use as a professional golfer. I'll also be sharing many of my personal tips and tricks to give you direct insight into my thought process and equipment that has allowed me to play at the highest level. This set right here is forever immortalized in my head, in my own brain, as being the best setup that I've ever played with. And it's allowed me to shoot best numbers, win Greenbrier, shoot eight under the last day at Chicago, ultimately win the team championship, shoot five under. I can't tell you how excited I am to showcase to you guys what's in my bag for this year. Going on to the first club in my bag, which I always look at as my 60 degree, it is a ping Glide 4.0. This club, the way it looks right now, the shape, the grind, if you can see the grind on it, it's exactly what I need. It's my favorite, it's the best grind I've had so far. See the front leading edge, it's a little rusty. And if you can see the face here, it's pretty nicked off. Like it's, it's pretty taken off, the grooves. And I don't like when the face is too rough. Initially when you get a, a fresh set of grooves, the face is really rough. So yeah, it's the, the Glide 4.0, 60 degree wedge. I start out at 60 degrees, I go to four, uh, 55, well, it's 56 degree, but it's actually 55, 50, 45, pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, so on and so on. All the way to five iron, then five wood, three wood and driver. This wedge has been incredibly versatile for me in soft, wet conditions, and also in firm, hard conditions. I can put the heel down in firm conditions so I can get the heel into the ground. And then also in soft conditions, I can really just level it and glide it and it just glides right off of it. So it's very versatile in any condition. So we got a 60 degree and we're going to 56. It's the same glide 4.0 ping wedges. Same thing with the face, rusted up. Ferrell's actually good on this one. It's an LA golf shaft, by the way, every golf shaft in here, my irons are LA golf shaft. And then I have a jumbo max grip. It's an XL, see that? It's the best go uh, grip in golf. I love it, it's the most comfortable. It allows me to play the best golf I possibly can. Then I'll go to a 45, which is again, a glide 4.0. For some reason, it looks a little different. It's a different, I think it's a cast. I, I don't know, it's it's different. Uh, I think these are forged and this is cast. Then it goes pitching wedge. So that, again, this is a 45 degree wedge. Then we go to pitching wedge, which is about 40 degrees of loft. The nine iron, it's an I-230. Pitching wedge and nine iron, I-230 is all the way up to five iron. So pit wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, six iron, five iron. All goes to ping I-230s. Uh, They're great, they've been awesome. They're one length, by the way, so everybody that wants to say, oh, I don't play one length anymore. Guys, I've been playing my whole career since 2011. That's my first set that I ever built with Mike Shy back in the tent in, uh, at Riverbend. It's now called Dragonfly back in Madera, California, but they are the same length. And again, the shafts are all switched up and turned around because they're pured, which there's a conversation piece on the puring part of it. I personally believe there's something there. It's a small lever, but it is a lever that affects consistency and performance off of the face. Uh, something I'm looking more into and I'll get back to you guys when I have a better info. So this all goes up to the five iron, which is 17 degrees of loft. I'm not gonna give, all, give you all my lofts right now because I want the secret to come out, but I will give you that this is 17 degrees of loft, the five iron. It's technically like a two iron, but this is the loft I need to retain 4,000 spin. Technically I want it to be 3,000, but once we start going lower in loft, th this, this thing breaks. So actual hosel piece, piece right here breaks because we just can't get low enough loft. So we're working on that. We're figuring out how to make it lower loft. That's coming. For next year. That'll be the, uh, next year's what's in the bag, which will be sick. I can't wait to show you guys next year's what's in the bag. It's gonna be completely different in a good way. In a good way. I, I'm still gonna have the irons, I believe. Just a little bit different, but the putter's gonna be probably the same. I don't know. You never know. I may change everything. I don't know. We're gonna figure that out as time goes on. It's whatever works best for me. So again, going all the way back to the five iron, that's what I have, 17 degrees aloft. I'll go to the five wood, which is a crank, crank formula fire, 13 degrees of loft. It's my five wood. This thing spins around 4,000, which is five wood spin for me, uh, for what it, what ball speed it can produce. These are stitch head covers. These things are sick, by the way. Look, crushers, see that? Five wood, pretty baller. This is from the Ryder Cup USA, the one we won. These are alignment sticks from Ping. So you have a color code here. They do this whole color code system for fitting and lofts and lies. It's pretty cool what Ping does. We'll go on to the three wood now, which is the tailor-made burner. It's a pretty cool look. Uh, it's a mini driver, actually. Works pretty well. 11 and a half degrees, but turned down to about like 10, almost nine and a half, I think. This thing's a rocket, it's pretty solid. I'm gonna show you the driver that helped me shoot 58. This is the Gamer 58, and we wrote on it specifically, never gonna lose this. This is gonna be framed <laughs> up in my house somewhere. This is the Crank Formula Fire. I guess we put tape over just to measure it all up. Five degree closed, so the way it sets down, just is what it is. But it's Crank Golf, look at this thing. It looks like a spaceship, it's pretty wild. You can see the heel of it. 
Uh, these dots are actually on here for uh, foresight, so when I hit shots, it sees where the face plane is. But it's kind of a cool uh, way to describe face plane. It gives me a good understanding of where my face is pointed at impact. Maybe here, you know, there, there, you know, whatever. We have the Jumbo Max grip on, and yeah, there's some weight ports in the back, but this thing is crazy. Look at the face, it's pretty wild. I'm not gonna give away what that is, but there's a reason why I'm playing better golf. I'm serious though, once I put this driver in play, my whole game changed. That, that was my 58 head. I have another one because I don't wanna break this. I'm just gonna highlight that real quick. I have another driver that's exactly like this because I don't wanna break it. But this is the driver I'm currently using. It is the same, six degree, six degrees. It's the same as the, the Gamer. It's Formula Fire, you can see it better now without the tape on it. The face, same thing. Top line, that's the way it kinda looks. Guys, this is the only driver face that works for me. It's the reason I shot 58 and it's completely transformed my game. The amazing thing is Crank Golf has designed an array of custom driver faces that work with any swing speed. If you want to maximize your distance while not sacrificing any accuracy whatsoever, go down to the link in the description and use code BRYSON200 to get $200 off your next driver purchase. Make sure you buy the right driver that fits your swing speed. It is super important. Also, by using code BRYSON200, you will be automatically entered in an exclusive drawing to win a signed crank golf head cover. Same putter, I switched the grip around. There's a reason for that. I feel like when I'm putting, when I had this thing flat to my arm, it was very difficult for me to feel where the face was open or, or opening or closing because there's a lot of surface area on this part. It was touching my arm. But when I turned it to the side and it became more of a one point, I could lock it into my arm and I could feel if the face opened or closed very easily in my arm so I could guide where that edge is a lot more effectively. That's ultimately why I switched the grip and it's what helped me shoot 58, so it helped me shoot a bunch of low rounds. I'm pumped, I'm so pumped for next year. I can't wait, oh, majors and everything. Good equipment, oh, it's gonna be a hell of a year. This year was a hell of a year, hope I can double it. If not, if I said the same year, excited for it. Man, it feels so good to be able to produce good content, great entertainment, and hopefully inspire a generation of golfers to come. Putter, same thing that I've had, LA Golf. It, I blocked it out, but guys, it is LA Golf. I just had to put lead tape there because we're trying to move the center of mass a little more towards the middle of the putter. It's a whole different conversation, lower and more middle, but it is an LA Golf putter. You always see my little strike mark on the heel. I heal my putts, just one of my things. That's where the sweet spot for me, based on this huge shaft is, moved it a little heel, and I'm okay with that. I don't really recognize it, but again, obviously it works. I make a lot of putts and I have a lot of fun uh, rolling them in from long distances. I don't know, I've been doing that recently. It's been a lot of fun. But Jumbo Max Grip, LA Golf, C2L 180, these are tough to get. It's the same sort of head shape as what I've had for a long time now and excited to continue to keep making putts with this thing. Another, another last little piece that I want you guys to see is my rulers. This is from the Ryder Cup as well. This is 2018 actually. But look how many rulers I have. I have four rulers. Each one of them has a different purpose. This one is just a ruler and it just measures shit. This one is my old length measurement, length putting measurement tool. So you see the numbers on it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So you see how it exponentially decays. It's a math term for anybody that likes math. The other part of it is when I take the putter face back to these lines and I accelerate with my cadence, with my acceleration profile, the way I feel like I'm just giving a constant effort. That's a big word right there, by the way. People that are golf nerds and want to truly understand it, I just gave you everything and how I putt my best. This is what describes how far the ball's gonna go. Now, 10 feet, it actually rolls out 12 feet because I like putting, I like hitting putts to where they're gonna go two feet past. So a 10 foot really rolls out to be a 12 footer on a stem 11, but I descri describe it as 10 feet because that's a 10 footer. If I walk it off 10 feet, I know that that putt's gonna go two feet past. I already preset it for that. It's a preset. So 15 feet's gonna be 17, 20 feet is gonna be 22 feet, 25 is gonna be 27 feet etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is the old version of it, and i have this as a backup just in case i ever lose one of them or i lose the other it's literally just a nice backup so this is my other one so i have both of these they match up perfectly or they should boom right on line and then this measurement device is very unique so you see these tape marks five inches 10 inches 15 inches 20 25 30 35 and then 36 for the full three feet of a uh, yardstick the reason I do that is because I can set this down by the hole and I can go anywhere I want, anywhere I want. I just set this on the upper straight line and I can go look at what five inches out is, 10 inches out is, 15 inches out, 20 inches out. Because most people, when you get up around a hole, they have no clue how far 12 inches out or two cups is. Two cups is eight and, eight and a half inches. So moving on, 
that's the rulers. We've got the trusty rusty bush bushnell. That's always nice to have, especially in live golf. We just use this all the time, which makes golf a lot faster and more enjoyable. Thank you to Bushnell. And we got a bunch of tees and golf balls in this little magnet pocket. Ooh, got my earbuds, Bose. Bose has been great to me. They've they've been really nice. Water bottle. This is actually a really cool water bottle. It's got a straw in it, and you can truly drink from it. So there's like a Oh, that's a straw piece where you just suck out of it and then you can drink, you know, you can just fully drink out of it if you want to. A walla, a, a walla. This is where the magic happens. Golf balls, I'm not gonna describe or tell you what this is. This is a secret, as is this, as is this. This is all what's made me play really good this year. Jibo. Come on, dude, you don't take the trash out of my bag? It's your bag. Ooh, chalk line, gotta have a chalk line, big time. Especially for me, when I'm warming up, I want to hit, see myself rolling a ball end over end on that chalk line, knowing that I'm striking it perfect. Level, digital level. Very nice, trusty. Advil for Jibo when I talk too much. Usually have an umbrella in there, gloves, they're in the front of the bag. Yeah, a bunch of, oh gosh, gloves and driver heads, extra driver heads. Let's just not even go that route. It's not, it's not even worth it. Let's hear. Oh yeah, garbage book. Forgot about that. That's number 11. Birdie, that's where I finished out. Martin Keimer. Pin was just in this back left section over here, and I hit a 96 yard shot right to there. Boom, stuck it, stuck it in close, and finished the job. What I've realized about Jibo is like he just likes to stuff things everywhere. Oh, these are cool. Pulling these out, rolling disc. Those are cool. Maximum, ha, <laughs> Bryson, maximum 58. That's actually really funny. Anyway, guys, that's honestly about it in the bag. There's not much more to it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have some backup stuff. There's some stuff in my car I got for some backups and golf balls, but to be honest with you, that's what is in the bag for the end of 2023.